Dark Mofo acknowledges and respects the Palawa people as the traditional and ongoing owners and custodians of the skies, land and water of Lutruita. Dark Mofo is one of a kind midwinter festival held in Tasmania, created by the Museum of Old and New Art in Tasmania. With many of its events taking place at night, it celebrates the darkness of the southern winter solstice. Dark Mofo features many musical acts, large-scale light installations and a winter feast. Due to its pagan influence and darker themes, it has been aligned with the Tasmanian Gothic aesthetic in literature and art. Hobart City is lighting up in red to celebrate the festival. Dark Mofa Winter Feast is a highlight of the event and an opportunity to peruse through their new curated food and drink categories and explore over 85 stall holders, showcasing both local and international flavors. Winter Feast brings together the best of Tasmanian food, beer, wine and spirits. It is a great place to enjoy a fabulous meal, have a spicy cider and enjoy live music. The first Dark Mofo Festival has been held in 2013. This year marks its 10th anniversary. Ryoji Ikeda's 15-kilometer high light installation spectra which you will see later in this video has been featuring the event since inception which is now a permanent fixture at Mona Museum in Tasmania. Nude Salsa Swim with over 1,000 people participating was introduced in the first year of Dark Mofo has been initially banned by police. Later. With the support of politicians and the general public it has ended up becoming an annual event. This happens at the dawn on the shortest day of the year. Dark Mofo as an event has courted controversy since its inception.
But you should know You are my The Spectra, Ryoji Ikeda's monumental beacon of light returns to the city to mark a decade of darkness, active from sunset to sunrise. Dark Mofo celebrates the darkness of the southern winter solstice. Winter solstice occurs when either of Earth's poles reaches its maximum tilt away from the sun, this happens twice yearly, once in each hemisphere. The winter solstice is the day with the shortest period of daylight. be ready to burn yourself in your own flame. How could you rise anew if you have not first become ashes? Ogo Ogo Parade and Burning is also a top highlight of the festival. You can ride down your fears and banish them to the belly of the huge platypus sculpture Ogo Ogo derived from a Balinese Hindu purification ritual and crafted by Balinese artists. Platypus sculpture Ogo Ogo is walked through the streets and around the Hobart waterfront in a massive procession before sending it to its fiery end at Dark Park. The name Ogo Ogo is derived from the Balinese Ogo Oga meaning to shake. Ogo Ogo and the sculptures at Dark Mofa were carried in the parade, shaking it to make it look like it's moving and dancing giving the meaning of its name.
solstice swim. Last in line of the festival welcomes back the light after the longest night. With the participation of 2,000 souls jumping into Derwent River at the temperature of just 2 degrees, mark the ending of 2023 Dark Mofa Winterfest.